wins the last two games. Um, how's the team feeling ahead of the game in Colorado? It's good. Um, I think whenever you string together a couple wins, you, you know a little bit of pressure is lifted. I think you're able to to play a little freer, and that's what we're hoping for this weekend. Um, I think you know there. We obviously, every game you come into, you want to win, but you just kind of have that good momentum where you, you feel like things are going to work out for you, um, which makes it a little bit easier to connect passes and, and score goals. Uh, the team dealt with international call-ups earlier in the season. Do you think that experience will help them heading into this game? Yeah, of course. You know, you got guys that are going to have to play that, uh, you know, got experience during the year playing, which is, you know, a lot better than, than having to go out for your first or second time, <laughs> you know, late in the year. So I think for sure we're going in there, like I said, ex expecting to win the game even on the road. Uh, how difficult is it to maybe set up with maybe uh, players that are going to be rotating that you don't usually work with on a regular basis? Yeah, and I think I s you know, said it last time around we were going through this, but even if they're not playing every day, you're practicing with them every day. So I think for me, you're having a good idea of, of what guys' strengths are, what guys' weaknesses are. Um, there's a couple guys, you know, you got Luis and Emma that are maybe a little bit new. So that's something where you're trying to work in practice, make a conscious effort to understand them as players. Um, you know, hopefully that, that carries in from these last couple weeks and, and understand what their strengths are and, and how they can help this team. Is there anything in particular that you're looking uh, to exploit from Colorado or something you're careful on that particular team? Yeah, you know, they're obviously good in transition. You watch the, watch the Red Bulls game. Um, I think for us is how can we limit that? How can we... Uh, you know, when time is right, double in the wide areas, I think for us is a big thing and kind of limit them um, in terms of going forward. And then for us, the big thing is, is doing a better job, I think, keeping possession. You saw, you know, we were able to win the last couple games, but I think there's times where, you know, we can establish tempo a little bit more and rhythm, especially on the road at altitude. You're going to have to control some of the game because if you're, if you're chasing for 90 minutes, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> Oh, this is obviously a rescheduled game. Uh, just generally, your thoughts on MLS playing through these international breaks? Is it something you hope that is curtailed in the future? Yeah, it's not ideal. Um, you know, I don't really have a strong opinion either way because I'm not I'm not one of the guys that's that's traveling and having to deal with that. But for me, you know, in my career, I've been a beneficiary of it. Um, so for me, times like this, it's an opportunity to to kind of take control and be more of a leader on the field. And I think that's something I'm excited about. But I do think. You know, as the league grows and, you know, you have more and more guys that are having to leave for international duty, which is a good thing, um, you know, it's something that at some point the league will have to re-examine.